Bernie, who exactly is Helmut Oberlander? Helmut Oberlander was a, uh, an auxiliary member of an Einsatzgruppen unit, a mobile killing unit during World War II that operated in Eastern Europe. Uh, his unit was accused uh, of uh, a, a, a engaging in the murder of uh, close to 90,000 Jewish men, women, and children. He was a translator for that unit, um, and he was never himself accused directly of pulling the trigger. But uh, every member of that unit helped oil the machine that was the uh, Nazi uh, murder method of mass murder towards Jews. So what is it Canadian Jewish Congress would like the Canadian government to do? Well, they've already done it. Uh, the Canadian government has already acted. Uh, it's taken them a long time. They, they, we're going back almost 60 years in dealing with alleged Nazi uh, war criminals or, or Nazi enablers, as we call them. Um, and there's, right now, the only thing they can do is revoke their citizenship. They should not be here as citizens because they lied to gain entrance. If you were a member of a killing unit and you didn't um, put that forward when you applied to come to Canada, then you lied to gain your citizenship. Uh, so re revocation of citizenship eventually leading to deportation from whence they came. That's what we want with uh, Helmut Oberlander. It's taking way, way too long. Why do we insist on the Canadian government deporting a guy who committed his crime some 70 years ago? I mean, is, is it time to move on? Well, um, I, I wish I could say it was time to move on, but in, the, in living memory today, there are those survivors who have vivid memories of what happened to their parents, of the murder of their brothers and sisters, of their friends, their husbands and wives and lovers. There are no uh, statute of limitations on such vile acts. And we ought not really remember these uh, perpetrators as they are today, and many of them are old, the doddering, uh, some of them are sick and feeble. We have to think of them as they were then, committing some of the most vile crimes and participating in some of the most vile crimes in human history. They were young, they were brutes, they were bullies, they were murderers. That's how we should remember them. And on that basis alone, the people that they murdered did not have the opportunity to live the full lives these people have. The least we can do for justice is to get rid of them, get them out of Canada, goodbye.